It's week two of the high school football season, and our Litter Media Game of the Week has Southeastern at Huntington to take on the Huntsman. In a moment, I'll introduce you to the new head coach of the Panthers, Garrett Blair. But first, this from Hometown Motors Incorporated. Husqvarna handhelds, chainsaws, trimmers, leaf blowers, hedge trimmers, and more. Buy it here, get it serviced here. Hometown Motors Incorporated, 818 Eastern Avenue, Chillicothe. I actually started uh, coaching football um, when I was in college. I went to Shawnee State and I started coaching football at uh, Eastern Pike High School um, where I was on the coaching staff that uh, we, I was on the first coaching staff for the first varsity football team they ever had at Eastern Pike. Um, and I coached there three years while I was in college and um, I, had, I had a great, great experience with Coach Tomlinson there. And uh, I, I mean, it's invaluable how much I learned from that guy. And then coming out of college, I, I got a teaching job at McLean High School and I was hired um, and I, I, I still teach at McLean. Um, and I was on those coaching staff there for two years previous. So, I mean, this is my sixth year, so a lot. I'm not super experienced, still a young football coach, but um, yeah. And with Tomlinson and Zodi, those are nice guys to be involved with. Yes, Good great team. people, great people. Run the same offense that Evan Gallagher ran the, the number of years? Yeah, we, we run a very, a very similar, that double tight, double wing look, and uh, we, we, we run around the football. I mean, I think Coach Gallagher did a good job of, I mean, that's kind of southeastern football now. It's that uh, we're going to play tough football, we're going to play tough nose defense, we're going to play tough nose offense, and um, yeah, so yes, we kept the same tag. I got to think that's a nice transition for the kids, too, because uh, sometimes with the coaching change, it's a whole new playbook and everything. I'm sure you're putting your, your own little twist in here, though. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not the exact same. I mean, we have um, the terminology is different a little bit just because where I what I know football wise is a little different. So kind of applying my terminology and um, to what they did and maybe changing some formations and being a little different in that aspect. But the offense is still primarily the same. I mean, we want to run the football. We're going to play Southeastern Panther football. I know that you lost the SVC player of the year in Lane Ruby. Uh, and Lane Rubies are tough to find, <laughs> but you've got uh, a nice group of kids that have come back that have experience and they indeed have that playoff experience. And that's got to help you heading into this year. Definitely. I mean, we got a good – we got a good group of seniors. Uh, I mean, if you look back, those kids have only lost three regular season games the whole time they've been in high school. I mean, four now because we lost last Friday. But, I mean, that's still uh, impressive. These kids know how to work. They know how to win. Um, and it's just kind of – right now they're, they're an example to our young players of how what it takes, uh, really what it takes. So, yeah, we're definitely relying on our seniors pretty heavy right now. It seems something that is said by every coach every year. You want to improve the most from week one to week two. Uh, what did you learn about your, your club as you took on a, a much improved Westfall team? Um, I mean, we, we learn in, it, in it's football. Uh, mistakes uh, and making mistakes, mental errors, missed assignments make a big deal. Football is a game of inches. It's a game of plays. I mean, I, we had – I want to say two or three stop. We stopped them two or three times within um, the 30 yard line. Um, so, I mean, there's good things that we have, but like I said, football is a game of inches. It's a couple of plays here or there that make a large difference. And um, when it comes to special teams errors and things like that, I mean, you, you have, attention to detail matters so much in football because one thing and the game's flipped. This week you head over to the Huntington Hills to take on the Huntsman. Um, what do you know about the, the Huntsman and, and uh, what are your preparations like this week in, in getting ready to go? Yeah, I mean, this Huntington football team is, is a good football team. They're like most Huntington teams. They're tough. Um, they're not going to give up. They're, you're going to know you played Huntington when it's done because they have tough kids there. Um, so we're, we're mentally preparing our, our kids for that and, and going in. And they have nice athletes in space, so we're – we're really focused on stuff like that. I mean, they're they're a good football team, and we, we got to be prepared to play them. Um, you're on the road this week. Uh, that's going to be a little different. And uh, I tell you, this whole season has been different uh, in regards to preparation. Uh, what's it been like for you and and for the kids to 
adjust in this, this pandemic climate we have? Yeah, it, honestly, I couldn't ask for a better, a better response by our players. They just want to play football. I mean, they were willing to do um, when we were allowed to start doing stuff in July and we could only have eight kids in the weight room at a time. I mean, they were, they were willing to do that. They're willing to wear their masks. They're willing to follow these protocols because these kids just want to play football. Um, and, it, and it's awesome to see. But, I mean, we keep telling them the same thing. It, it's kind of cliche at this point, but it's true. Um, it's E plus R equals O. We can't control all this other stuff. We, we only thing we can focus on, and the only thing we can control is how we respond to just the different situations that we get. And um, there's no sense in complaining about it or trying to change it or whatever it is. We just – it is what it is and we're going to respond and um, the opportunity to play football is there and, and we're going to do it. Uh, I think last week, uh, Terry Holbert up at Logan Elm had told me, uh, you know, we're, we're just doing what we do with the game of football. We adjust as we go along and that's how you've had to go through this summer. Exactly. I mean, that's, yeah, I couldn't say it better myself. It's you adjust and adapt, whatever the situation is, that's what we're going to try to do. Yeah. Um, who do you have in the backfield for you? I know Mikey Nusser is going to be huge for you, but uh, who else do you have on there? Yeah, uh, we got Mike, of course. Mikey Nusser is a great kid. Um, and, and then we got a sophomore, Trust and Quarters, running the ball for us. Um, um, Brandon Maldonado, Jared Porter, Clay Morgan. I mean, we, we're, we're kind of trying to get as many people in there as we can in the backfield because uh, it is a, it's a physical offense. So, I mean, the more people that we can get to run the football, the better. And the more confusion back there uh, for yeah. the uh, d defense, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, who's running quarterback for you this year? Um, we, we've had Jared McCorder running quarterback for most of the summer, and um, he, he's done a nice job kind of transitioning into that position. Defensively, how are you looking there? Um, I think defensively we look good. I mean, of course, we got Mikey Nusser, um, who, who's a, a great linebacker. And, again, Trustin McCorder led us last week. He had 10 tackles. Um, he's a sophomore. I mean, he's a good football player for us. And then, of course, I mean, and, and it's – I think sometimes he gets lost because of the name, like, m with Mikey and, and playing with uh, Lane and Alan Mead last year. But Nathan Howard is uh, is a kid who, who just has a motor like nobody I've ever met as far as his, his just aggression and uh, willing to, to really get after it playing football on our defensive line. If you see the Litter Media cameras, make sure you give us a wave and a holler. And don't forget to watch for a complete highlight package available Tuesday from this Friday's Litter Media Game of the Week, Southeastern at Huntington. I'm Dan Ramey. Thanks for watching Litter Media.